Hey, hi, I'm Dale Doherty. We're here at the National Maker Fair, the campus of UDC. And I'm talking to Connor Russomano, who has something on his head that he'll tell us what it is and how it works. Sure. Uh, hi, Dale. Um, this is the Ultra Cortex, uh, which is an extension of the Neo Cortex. Um, it's a 3D printed EEG headset. So it Wait a minute. EEG. Yeah, so EEG is, stands for electroencephalogram, which is the, uh, it's measuring electrical activity that's coming out of the brain and through the scalp. Um, so it's the science of understanding the electrical activity of the brain. And what we've done is we've taken uh, you know, open source technologies like Arduino and 3D printing and made a really, really low cost open source uh, EEG tool that anybody can use and anyone can create and anyone can add to. That's great. How did you make this? Uh, so this, the Ultra Cortex came out of a uh, MakerBot Rep 2 um, and uh, had some wire cutters, some super glue, some electrodes. That's powered by your battery pack. Right? Correct, yeah. Okay. So not much more than that. What's on the back of your head, though? So on the back, we have the, uh, the OpenBCI amplifier, which is a, it's a multi-purpose biosensing microcontroller. So it's very similar to Arduino, except it's uh, specifically geared towards taking in electrical signals from the body. So essentially, you have the ability to program uh, games or applications and have them respond to signals coming out of the body. Some of the fun stuff that we've done recently is uh, some, some mind-controlled robots. Now, it's not as easy as it seems because you have to look at flashing screens and you have to kind of trick the brain into uh, believing something to then control the robot. Um, but we have done mind-controlled toys and uh, games like that. Let's see, what else? Now we've started looking at, uh, looking at EEG and brain activity in the context of everyday environments. So one really cool thing about OpenBCI and this wave of commercial EEG devices is that all of a sudden we can look at brain activity out of the laboratory and in the context of the everyday world. Um, and I think that's one really amazing thing that the maker movement has to offer for the entire industry or the, the field of brain science is how can we take this tool or this, this field of science that's typically been only approached by scientists and put it in the hands of students, academics, you know, the younger generation who's going to learn and then develop that industry. And okay. Where can we get more information about it? Uh, check out openbci.com. That's probably the best place because we'll be publishing all of the Ultra Cortex uh, files very soon. So. And uh, the red and blue and white has some connotation today? Yeah, no, definitely no. Just a total coincidence that it's the National Maker Fair and the headset's red, white, and blue. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you.